All right, we're going to be speaking about DVAMP, and we're still in the loop section of this tutorial. Uh, and DVAMP is going to do something that is really, really cool. Okay, so we're going to we're going to go back to our original track, which is only um, I think it's uh, 12 or 13 seconds long. So, if I fire this cue, it will continually to do a loop in the background non-stop okay and it's going to do that because it's on infinite loop now i'm going to show you how to use a devamp cue to get it out of the loop and when the track is done it auto follows exactly how you want while merging in with the next song i, I devamp cues are the perfect scenario for audio so what we're going to do here is we're going to grab a devamp cue, which looks like that, and we're going to drag it right in between the first track that's continuously looping and the track that's going to take it off from that last part, okay? Uh, we are going to tell it, just like a start cue, we're going to tell it to devamp that first cue by taking the cue and dragging it on top the same way we did when it came to start cues or fade cues, anything like that. We have to tell it what the target cue is, okay? If you're not sure what the target cue is, you can go to the target and it'll show you right here the target is Seven Rings of God Instrumental, okay? So, um, also it shows it right here on your workspace as well. So, you hear this is continually going, right? When you highlight the devamp cue, you have to change a few settings and you're going to tell it to devamp the looping cue. Okay? Now that devamps the looping cue. And then the next cue, you're going to click this, start the next cue when the target reaches the end of the current slice. We didn't add a slice yet because I haven't taught you about slices yet. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to play our permanent loop in the background, which is going to loop forever. When I want that track to end, I don't want it to end by hitting stop at the right time of the song. I want it to end where it's supposed to end, okay? And we can do this by hitting the devamp cue right now. Nothing happens because it's waiting to the very end of that track and now it stopped, okay? Which is perfect because it didn't mess up that rhythm, that beat, nothing like that, okay? Now, let's click on the same exact one. This is the DVAM cue, and this time we're gonna click the little start next cue when the target reaches the end of the current slice, okay? So now, listen what happens. We're gonna fire the loop, which we can be here for an hour. It's gonna loop continuously. Okay, so just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to let it loop one time so you understand. After the loop, in the middle of the loop, at any point in time, I'm going to hit devamp right now. Now watch what's happening. The devamp is perfect sync with the original track. And listen what happens when it comes to the end. That's phenomenal. So basically, we had the looping intro, continuously looping until the performer is ready to get out of that loop. And then when he, when he devamps it, it stays in perfect timing and goes right into the song. And uh, I mean, you just, you don't get a simpler way of having full control over audio than that. That is so much fun. Uh, let's talk about slices in our next video, so stay tuned.